My name is Chris Montgomery, and welcome to part two of our TN Special Alert on ransomware attacks. In our last episode, we reviewed the effect ransomware attacks are having on businesses, as well as the origin of these attacks. In today's episode, we're going to review how to create a plan to prevent ransomware attacks altogether. The best defense against ransomware is to have a good offense, meaning you should be proactive in your approach to addressing these types of attacks and the methods used to conduct them. With this in mind, there are certain core elements every plan should have. First and foremost, you need to have some sort of ongoing cybersecurity awareness training for your employees, as this is how most ransomware attacks occur. This typically consists of training around what to look for when surfing online, as well as when checking emails, and should provide examples of different variations of emails one might receive. Next, patch management performed by an outside IT provider or via an automated process. These are essential because most of the time they are pushed out to patch a specific exploit that can be used to compromise your network. You also want to create and implement a comprehensive security procedures for general access and file handling. However, one of the easiest things you can do is to implement a policy that requires the user to create a complex password in addition to said password expiring on a scheduled interval, typically once a quarter for highly compliant industries, and at least twice a year for those not subject to compliance from an outside governing body. A complex password typically contains letters, numbers, and symbols in addition to being at least 16 characters long. An easy way to create this type of password is to use movie lines, song lyrics, or positive affirmations including all letters, spaces, and punctuation. This allows you to create a password that's complex while making it easy for the user to remember. It should go without saying, but you should also have a robust antivirus, anti-malware, anti-spyware solution deployed on all desktops and servers. We recommend having this solution monitored, maintained, and managed by a third-party provider such as ThrottleNet. To protect your network and isolate against any potential attacks, we recommend a solution that monitors the files in your My Documents folder for encryption since this is a solid indicator of an attack. Any solution like this should be able to identify the encryption in addition to sending an alert notifying a designated contact that an attack is taking place. This solution should also quarantine the affected workstation while still allowing outside provider access for resolution and remediation of the issue. In addition, an enterprise-grade firewall with active threat monitoring should be installed as this serves to protect against external attacks and can also provide additional security features depending on the model and available security solutions. Finally, if all else fails and you're still the victim of a ransomware attack, you should have an image-based backup with versioning and cloud replication. The reason you want an image-based backup is that this type of backup takes a snapshot of the entire operating system as well as any patches and updates that have been applied since its inception. Sometimes this could be years worth of patching and updates, resulting in a quicker recovery time. The versioning is necessary in the event the most recent backup is encrypted. If that's the case, we simply go back to a version prior to the attack taking place and restore from that point in time, making it as if nothing happened. If you would like more information on ThrottleNet, or if you'd like a free network security evaluation, please visit us online at ThrottleNet.com or call us today at 866-829-5557. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you for part three of our three-part series on ransomware.